Okay, here we go. <laughs> There is like an evil mustache laugh going on right here, and I'm here for it. Right? Look at the train tracks over here. Is that a voice changer? Relationship is a relationship that has to be earned. That's a that's not, not to compromise for. Not. And I love relationships that do that. The love that I can break that in this. I see his mouth. Nothing in the world more beautiful than falling in love. The fall in love for the right reasons, falling in love for the right purpose, falling in love, falling in love. You're falling in love. That message. That's a technique that's used in heaven. If you don't know what's happening, I'm pretty sure they know it, okay? Y'all ready? Got a shake. recognition to uh what he's doing with the vowels uh with with the the sounds of his face hole right the 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 expressivity of do 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 right like he's he's making everything's alive right the phrases are alive and he's he's molding the sounds around the phrase and i love it He could be on a runway right now. I needed to see the game.
got to say, this is what sensible runs, like artistic runs, look like, right? And I want to point out with his scatting, he's not going crazy on it. And, and here's the thing, he's adding longer notes, which a lot of people don't do when they scout. And it's just really, really, really musically intelligent. And he's so comfortable with it. This is actually important. is not allowed to have such a great voice such good technique and abs doesn't he know i'm massively insecure i want to talk about so the the freedom of movement that he has is, is extremely important to point out it's really really important that singers have tremendous torso uh, uh flexibility isn't th mobility mobility and so this this movement that he's so comfortable doing is actually one of the reasons why his breath is insane. And think of the torso as a balloon. Let me let me let me for the for for a moment just dispel something I hate hearing all the time. Diaphragmatic breathing. That's just called breathing. Diaphragm works whether or not you want it to. It doesn't have nerve endings. That thing moves. Contracts, it pulls in air. Axes pushes out air. That's it. Diaphragm isn't working. You were dead. So then if that's the case with the diaphragm, what do we have control over? Well, the entirety of the torso. The lungs are a plastic bag. They're just tied to the torso through like something like a, it's a it's not mucus, but it's it's like a mucus. So anything you do like this and you can here. Here's here's proof in the pudding right here. Okay, ready? No. Right? Anything I do that moves the torso is going to move my breath in a certain way. Which is why, if you want to have freedom, especially when you're going up, right? especially when you're going up, because you need less air. Why do you need less air when you're going up? The folds are thin. Folds are thin, and if they flip open, uh, it's because either you're letting them happen with because you want falsetto, or there's too much air, and so it, so it's forcing falsetto. There are other consequences. Uh, that also are possible, but uh, he's experiencing none of them because his breath is out of this world. Because his body, his athleticism, his abs, which um, I swear I'm not, I'm not bitter about, I'm not bitter. <laughs>
That's excellent. Seizure one, by the way. Preface that. These musicians are incredible too. It's hard to make a pentatonic skill sound interesting. And that's that's what the guitar player is doing. It's hard to make that sound interesting. Because it it's it can be just I don't know, like it, it eh. And so what what's going on is it's not just a pentatonic scale. A lot of people I used to play a lot of guitar. I was in a I was a lead guitarist in a jazz band. Um like I I played a lot of guitar. I and definitely past tense. <laughs> But um, one of the first things you learn is the pentatonic scale. You learn to jam on that. But a lot of people don't understand how to put the pentatonic scale in the context of not pentatonic scales, right? Like you can hear the intervals where it's it's just kind of a standard going up with the scale, and then you get you get to hear a lot of those licks that end up happening, like right, like. So he's doing arpeggios uh, throughout the chord progression, and then he gets to the end there. Right, that's a blues lick. So super, super awesome musicianship. Very exciting. <laughs> 